is what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to do? You know how many times I've spoken to Muslim Americans during an election season? I say, Sister Linda, politics in America, it's not for me. I don't do politics. Me, vote, I'm not voting. I always say this to Muslims, here's something that you are not gonna get away with telling me. Sister Linda, I'm not political. If you are Muslim and you are breathing right now and you live in the United States of America, you are political whether you like it or not. Because this country has politicized you. This country has drafted legislation based on your faith and denying you your right to be a full Muslim in this country. This country creates policies to impact your families in Pakistan, your families in Bangladesh, your families in Palestine and in Lebanon and Iran. That's what this country has the power to do. So when you say I'm going to forfeit my right to engage in politics in America, then you yourself are going to be complicit in whatever decisions are being made on your behalf. Because your member of Congress says, I represent my constituents. Because they only represent the ones that vote for them, or the ones who participate in democracy. Me personally, when I go meet with a member of Congress, I'm here, the member of Congress is here. You know why? Because that member of Congress works for me. And that's a new attitude you all gotta get together. No, you don't work for members of Congress. They work for you. You are their employees. You pay their salaries with your tax dollars. And so when you walk into 